Okay, we just learned that a string is a sequence of characters, right? A string is a sequence of characters. And the next slide is, is very important for you to understand. And each the character inside a string has an index number. Okay, so this is so this is index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And this is like a string. The char is here. So um, this uh, square bracket operator returns a char at a given index inside a string. So uh, they use this example, name is equal to Harry. <clears throat> and then they use this uh, square bracket operator. And then inside the square bracket, they use uh, index, index number, right? So um, let me... Okay, so this is an example, right? So what happened is, let us uh, analyze this example in uh, detail. So name is equal to Harry. So whenever you have a variable name, so this is a variable name, and then you use the uh, equal sign, this assignment sign, that means what? The variable uh, is created, and the name of the variable is just name. So I'm going to so this box, right? The, the name of this variable is a name, right? And then um, you have a string Harry, right? You have a string Harry. And so this is a value of this variable. So you know that this value will be uh, moved to the right-hand side, right? The value is always a right hand sign so the value uh, is going to uh, move to this um, variable name so we'll have Harry right Harry so the name so the value of this variable name is at this point is Harry right and then you create another variable is called start, right? The start. So there's another variable is start. So another variable, and the name of that variable is a start, right? And then the value of this variable start is name, right? And then square bracket zero. So this is an index, right? So the name is what? Name is this this one, right? And then it requires, hey, I only need a first element of uh, the string Harry. So if you look at this name, so uh, the Harry, so let's just analyze the string Harry in, in more uh, detail. So we have a Harry, you know that string is a sequence of characters, right? So let's say H A R, R, Y, right? The sequence of string is a sequence of characters, and you know that each char, I mean, inside the string has an index number. So it always index, you know, that it's always start with zero, not one. So this is very important for you to know. So in the in index always start with zero. So index of this guy is what? Zero. And index, the next one is index is one and two and three and four. Right? So now it says name, right? So by the way, the name, so basically the name, so this name the name is really like pointing to this, right? The Harry. The name has Harry. So basically, this is this is this, right? Harry. And it says name uh, square bracket. This operator square bracket operator returns a char at a given index inside a string. So it re it says what? Index number zero. Index number zero. Right, that means index number zero. So it's, it returns H, right? So, and then the H is gonna be moved to a variable called 
start. So now it, in the start it has what? H. Okay. And the last is equal to a name. So you have a variable name last, right? So there's another variable last. Right? And this time name, right? Name is what? Name is Harry, right? The name is Harry. Did this 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 guy? And what is the index number? Is a four. So zero, one, two, three, four. So which is what? Y. So this will returns Y, right? And that Y is moved to a uh, the variable last. So now it has Y here. Okay. So let's just uh, run this example. Right, let's just run this example. Uh, let's just open a Python shell. Python, right? Let's see, Python P. O P. Where is it? Python, okay, 3.5 and idle. Let's just follow this example. And then I'm going to file, new file. And then, um, So I'm creating a, a call a name, right? That's a variable name. So by basically, I'm trying to show you this, uh, try to run this example, this one, this example, right? Uh, name and Harry and start last. So the name is equal to uh, Harry. And then start is another variable. Then this one, I want the characters at the first index. You know, the first index is always start with a zero. Right, so the name is uh, this guy, right, name is this guy, name, and then I'm, I really want a first element, right? So the unit index is always start with a zero, right? So it's going to, this index at zero is going to returns um, it's going to be returns what? Returns it's either single or double quote, H, right? And then last is equal to uh, name four, which is last index. Okay, so let's just print. Print, start, colon, and then I'm going to print this, this one, start whether it's going to print H. I'm going to say start. And then I'm going to print the last. Okay, let's just first print start. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna put some space and then last and colon. And some space, make sure that you have some space, right? Just for the readability. And then space here for the readability. And then comma and last. And let's see what happens. Let's just run this. File run module. Okay, so I'll say what? Uh, documents. Python example, I think I created the oh, lecture code, okay. So I'll say string example two. And then I'm gonna save it. Okay, see, it's going to print H and Y, right? Good. And our next example is the string operators. You know that the plus is going to be used to concatenate the two strings and etc. And uh, this is an interesting example. Uh, 
if you want to uh, put uh, 49ers and you have to use a, a string um, by string function right so the reason is the 49 is a integer and then you cannot add uh, two different uh, values right I mean the, the, the values with the two different types so the 49 is a number and then ER, ERS is a string so uh, I showed the example for this so it's a Python shell okay good okay the thing is the idea is this if you want to uh, so by the way this is just Python shell I did not really create any um, I don't know, I'm not going to use any text editor, editor because this is a simple uh, example. So let's say the 49, right? And then if you want to plus ERS, this will definitely will give you an error message because the 49 is a number and ERS is what? A, a string. So the Python will, is going to, if you try to add this to, the Python will, uh, will complain. See, uh, unexpect, unsupported operand type S for int and string. So this is an int and then a string. And they said, hey, you cannot use this uh, plus. Uh, and this plus cannot be applied to both uh, number and string at the same time. So that's what they are really complaining, type error. So what you can do it is, you can uh, convert this 49 to a string, right? Now you know that string can be added to another string. So what I'm going to do is use the, the function that we learned previously, which is str string function. So str and then 49. So this function is going to what? Convert 49 to a string 49, not the number, right? So this whole thing is going to be what? String 49 and then plus ELS, right? Then you can say 49ers. So I'm going to put some 49ers, right? So when I enter 49ers, right? So that's the example right here, 49ers. And then we use the function len the length for the length. And we have just learned that uh, this uh, square bracket function. So Sally, right? And then string one is what? The, the one means index. So it's going to return a, a character at the index number one, which is what? Uh, Sally, I mean the A, right? So it's going to return A, and etc. So example is, let's just run it on this example. Uh, Python, uh, Example two, let's say another example is <coughs> Sally, right? So I'll say full name is equal to Sally, right? And if this is what, this is the character at the index zero and A is what, at index number one, right? Zero, one, two, three, and four, right? If you want to return uh, if you want to uh, get an A, that is what this A is at the index number one. So what you can do it is, uh, let's say, um, full name and the cha at index one. This is a variable name, right? Is going to be what full name and then index one. So let's just print, print, print this guy, right? Char at index number one. This is a variable name. I know it's a long variable name, but it's really meaningful, right? So this is print. So let's just, it should print A because it's like character at index number one. Let's just run this. Yep. It, it prints A, right? It prints A. The character at index number one. Good. So uh, 
next exam so next topic uh, okay <coughs> and the method is that um, so basically there's a method is really function but difference between the function and method is that but unlike the functions the function is what it's typically it's a stand on an operation right so unlike the function the method can only be applied to an object of a type for which it was defined so method are specific to a type of object so that means uh, this is example so name John Smith right the John Smith is a string and we'll learn this in the week number nine or ten but in the actually in the very later but in a string you can think a string is an object and um, the object right especially the string object has many defined method so the method can be there are many string method and one method is uh, upper okay if you look at the next slide there is another uh, many uh, many different uh, predefined uh, string method but in this example at this point you only need to know let's say lower upper and replace right case with this uh, uh, description right but let's just uh, use um, just as an example we're gonna learn let's say uh, upper right upper means what uppercase version of string uh, version of s right so the example is so um, let's just go back to presenter okay so this is a method right john smith so name is a john smith and then you use what a method called upper right we can use a lower and upper right and as you can see the method is only applied to an object so basically the john smith is an object right based a string string you can think is an object the name is pointing the name is a variable as a fat name is pointing this uh, john smith so you can think uh, you can think this is this as you know that it's name so name is the variable name right and it has John Smith or you can um, there's another way you can draw this diagram so it's basically another way it is a name is a variable and it's pointing to an object called what oops another way you can see it is a name it is a variable name is pointing to an object uh, like string john smith either way is fine right but uh, basically then it has what upper upper is what is a method so if it's a string if this object is a string the string has what it's a lot of predefined a method a good example is what lower upper and replace so go back to presenter so what happened is then this upper since the John Smith is an object, it has many, many uh, predefined uh, method. It's in this example, it's upper, right? You can has what? You can has lower functions, and this, and then it has what? Another, um, another method, right? Another method called uh, replace, right? And what happened is when uh, when you when you use upper method 
and all this uh, the characters inside this uh, string will be converted to uh, all uppercase letters and the lower means all this uh, the characters in this string will be converted into all lowercase letters okay so uh, so that's a method and the function is as you can see uh, let's see if you look at the previous slide, you know, the example of the functions is what? Uh, okay, there's your functions. Uh, in the previous, in the arithmetic, yes, the absolute, round, and max, and mean. And these are the functions, and this is what? Stand all on uh, uh, operations. All right? Uh, there's more example. Chapter two, variable. Um, I think there's a table. Table. Let's see. Okay. So for example, this is like a uh, functions for for the math module. The square root, cosine, sine, and tangent. And all this is what? Stand all on function. It's not a method. But, but uh, if you look at the string, right? If you look at the string, oops. So if you look at the string, uh, string is all, I mean, if you look at the method, uh, method only apply to an object. So. Um, you know that it's this upper method is always used with what string string object so that's the key so uh, let's just use this example like let's just use the lower example so uh, open a Python shell okay so it's not this one I'm gonna close this guy Next example is, uh, let's say we have a name, um, uh, let's say student name is equal to, let's say, John Smith. And then if you want to convert uh, all the characters in the string to all uppercase letter, you can use the method called upper. So what I'm going to do is, um, um, let's say student, let's say you can use a print. I'm going to print. And then you can use student name. And then, uh, so this is a variable name, a student. And then I'm going to use the uh, dot, right? And then upper, which is what? Um, the method. And then I'm going to uh, print this value. So that's why I use the print functions. So if I want to print all uppercase letters, then yeah, that's why I use the print functions. And let's see. Let's just run this. Yes, everything is uppercase letter, right? But if you want to print all uh, lowercase letter, then you can use what? Method called a uh, lower. So let's just do that. Print, so like student name, uh, N-A-M-E, so this one, right? This one, this is one is a string, and then you can use dot what? Lower. If you want to print this value, then you can you have to use print function, right? Print. So I'm going to print this guy. And then let's just run. Run module. See all what? Lowercase letters, right? John Smith. Good. And uh, 
Okay, so that's a useful uh, string method and replace. You can also uh, use uh, method replace. Uh, you can uh, try this example too. Okay, and then, okay, so I'll just end my lecture here. And the next lecture, I'm going to talk about input and outputs.